is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling bringing you my WWE Elimination Chamber 2020 predictions video. This is a very underwhelming card in my opinion and it's the final stop before WrestleMania. Let's get right into the first match. Okay, kicking things off, I just want to quickly announce that this is being recorded the day after Monday Night Raw, so anything that happens on SmackDown will not be in this video. Anyways, starting things off, Umberto Carrillo versus Andrade, again, uh, for the United States Championship. I want Andrade to win. Uh, this chamber match is, well, not chamber match, because there's only two of them, uh, but the actual chamber pay-per-view is essentially another extra episode of Raw. So, yeah, Andrade versus Umberto for the US title. Andrade to retain. Next up, we have another Raw rematch. Alistair Black versus AJ Styles. I'm going to have... Um, I don't really know here because both men have, need to be booked strongly. I'm just going to say Alistair Black gets beaten not clean uh, by AJ in the OC. And then Undertaker's going to come out and maybe choke time Styles or something like that. I, I don't care. Next up, we have the brand new Raw Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits, defending their brand new championships against the former champs, Seth Rollins and Murphy. Street Profits to retain. They've just won the belts. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship match between Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro and Sami Zayn. Now, this is a three-on-one handicap match and Braun's going to retain. This, I have no opinion of any of these matches. I, I could not care less, which is a shame because I normally love Chamber, but hey-ho. Next up, we have the one and only Men's Elimination Chamber match. The Miz and John Morrison, the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions, defending against The New Day, The Usos, Heavy Machinery, Ziggler and Rude, and Lucha House Party, Lince Dorado and Grand Metalik. Okay, um, Miz and Morrison to retain, and if that doesn't happen, The Usos to win, but I'm going to go Miz and Morrison to retain. And finally, we got the Raw Women's Championship Elimination Chamber number one contenders match between Natalia, Liv Morgan, the winner Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. Once again, I don't care. We know the result. Shayna Baszler's going to win and face Becky at Mania. But considering this is a very, very short predictions video, let's get into my little rant. Okay, so this is the one and only Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, including the No Way Outs and all the other Elimination Chamber matches that have happened in history to not have a match to crown a number one contender for a world championship. Actually, scratch that. I think Elimination Chamber 2015 didn't have one. Instead, they had an IC title Elimination Chamber. But even then, why couldn't they have done that? That would have been so much better. But I don't know. Lesnar and Goldberg are our champions. So, they should have done the exact same as what they did in 2017 and not have an Elimination Chamber because it was not necessary. If Goldberg and Lesnar, both of them, have their matches planned out, I said 2017, I think I'm, yeah, I meant 2016, my bad. Um, both of them have their matches set up at Mania. In 2016, it was already set up to be Roman versus Triple H at Mania. Instead of having Triple H defend the title in a needless match in the Elimination Chamber, they scrapped the whole show. This is what you should have done here. Goldberg and Lesnar have their opponents set up. They're clearly not going to defend the championship in the Chamber, which would have been money, Vince. Um, they would have, Imagine having Brock or Goldberg defending their championships against six other guys in the Elimination Chamber. That would have been so good. But no, um, it's probably not in Goldberg or Lesnar's contracts to work this pay-per-view. So they're not working this pay-per-view and instead we're getting a lacklustre card that's like an episode two of Raw. Um, I've got multiple reasons why I'm not going to be watching this live. Um, I'm starting wrestling training on Sunday and that starts from six till ten, uh, six till nine, sorry, but I won't be home until gone half ten. So I'm going to be one, tired, two, not going to be wanting to stay up and make myself even more exhausted to watch Raw 2.0 and I might do reactions, but... They won't be live, I'll be watching it the next day. And I, I honestly don't care, this is such a wasted potential. I love the Elimination Chamber normally, it's one of my most excited like pay-per-views of the year. I'm normally 100% for it, love it, and um, this year they dropped the ball with it. And I don't care, I know a lot of people are going to be skipping this show, my, myself included. After Super Showdown, we're sort of, you know... We're all, it's left a sour taste in all of our mouths, I think, and for them to book a lacklustre chamber card just makes it that we don't want to watch. I mean, it can be saved last minute on SmackDown. They do have a chance, a chance to have 
Goldberg or someone come out and say, yeah, we're having a single men's chamber match. But if it's... No, they don't. They really don't. Unless Goldberg comes out and says, I'm going to defend the belt in the chamber, there's nothing they can do. We're, it's, this is set in stone, um, which sucks. But yeah, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. This has been my predictions video. Will you guys be watching the Chamber Show live? Leave me your predictions in the comments section down below. Do you think this show is even worth watching? I know us in the UK, it's harder for us to watch pay-per-views. A lot of the American and global audiences don't realise that when we watch a pay-per-view, it starts from midnight and doesn't end until normally half four, five in the morning. So it's a, like, if we're watching it, we're done for like a whole day after that. Like, it takes a toll on us. Um, it's not like we tune in at seven and it finishes at midnight and we go to bed and then go to school the next morning like nothing's happened. Um, over here, when we watch a pay-per-view, if it's lackluster, it takes a toll even more because we've wasted sleep and, you know, everyone loves sleep. But yeah, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling once again and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.